Hello, good afternoon, this is Diecast Loon, I hope you're all doing well, and today I thought I'd do a quick video, a quick unboxing video on an older piece from my collection, so a bit like a revisit really, um, I didn't get a chance to do the premium piece this week because I didn't find anything for um, the weekly premium unboxing, so therefore I couldn't do it, but anyway I have been going through all my cars recently, and uh, every now and again I like to do a bit of a purge and get rid of some of the stuff that you don't no longer have any desire for, you know, um, I, I, my collection is not the biggest collection in the world. Um, I only have a, probably only have about 2,000 pieces in my collection, but I don't like it to go much above that. I like it to be try and be manageable. So anyway, I have put aside about 100 cars, 150 cars that I want to be getting rid of. Um, stuff that I no longer... Just, just stuff that isn't to scale. Anyway, that's a long and boring story. But when I was going through some of the stuff, I came across this which I completely forgot I had. So let's get a bit of extra zoom on. So this is from a company called Motormax. Some of you might, might know who they are. Some of you might not. Some of the collectors that are new to the hobby probably won't know who this is. But this was a, a make that I've uh, come across back when I was a large scale collector. Um, you see a lot of 118th scale and 124 scale Motormax in the diecast world. And uh, like I said, I forgot I had this. Um, I haven't got many of them. I've got about three or four of these in my collection. I'm only going to be really showing possibly one, possibly two today. But um, like I said, I looked online and I can't really seem to find anywhere to buy them. I didn't go, I didn't do an extensive look. Um, but I didn't pay a lot for this when I did get it a few years ago. I think I only paid possibly about £3.50 for the car, roughly, and I think a couple of pound postage. So it wasn't expensive. But if you're somebody that's new that wants to go from Matchbox and Hot Wheels and sort of dip your toe into some different sorts of premiums and don't want to spend a lot, these were the ideal models to find, especially if you can find them now. Um, I did a little bit of research on Motormax. They are still going. They've been going for over 20 years. Um, I think they're a Japanese, uh, Chinese company, I believe. There's two parts of the company. There's Motormax and there's the other side of it, which I think they call themselves Redbox, I believe. They do do all scales. But like I said, when I had a little look online, there wasn't much online. Unless you wanted to buy large scale, there was plenty. But in this 164th, and I say 164th-ish scale, because it is a little bit larger than 164th. If you compare it to an actual 164th scale, it is a little bit larger. But this particular car we're looking at is the 1974 AMC Gremlin, I believe. And um, I'm... You know, stop me if I'm wrong, but there's not a massive amount of Gremlin models out there to buy. I think Johnny Lightning possibly does a Gremlin model. Um, I can't think of anybody else. Maybe Hot Wheels have, but, you know, this, like I said, that's why I got this back in the day. So what did you get for the money? So you got a metal base, a metal body. It's quite weighty. Um, not that you can tell, but it is. So there you go. A bit of extra zoom on, it should say. So it's 160 scale, so like I said, it's not true 164, but that's fine. 1974 AMC Gremlin, and this one is obviously licensed, blah, 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 blah. Some of these were riveted bases, some of them were screwed bases, but yeah, not bad. I mean, you do get lensed rear taillights, separate bumpers. My camera's not enjoying the light at the minute. You do get front lens lights i mean all right the quality is not the best if you compare it to some models that are out there but for the money uh this was very good and i wished i could find more probably if i was to do a much more extensive search i could probably find more but like i said i know for some people these um were great i think it was um Oh, I was going to say, I can't know, he's changed his channel name. It's Joe. It was XLT Off-Road Bear. I think he's changed himself to Bear Tracks now. But he was a big um, collector of these this particular range. I think they used to do a range called Fresh Cherries, which is basically the same size cars, but it was a range. And they did American cars, European cars, some supercars. There was quite a bit. Actual facts, I'll leave a little bit here. Uh, let me just I'll, I'll, I'll leave a little bit here of some of the cars you could get.
So there you go. So there are some of the cars that you could get. But like I said, I'm mainly showing this because I just forgot I had it. I was glad I found it in my collection and just think it's really cool. And like I said, I'm not one of these people that are bothered if it's scale accurate or not. I mean, I'm a big Hot Wheels and Matchbox collector and I do have some super premiums and premiums in my collection. I do like scale cars, but like I said, unless you put this next to a car that is true scale accurate, say another one of these, then obviously there'd be some size difference. Um, the scale accurate version would be a lot, probably a little bit smaller, but I'm not bothered. If I like it, I like it and it goes in my collection. But anyway, I just thought I'd show this. I think it's cool. Maybe you lot out there have got more than me. Maybe you know more than me, but uh, I just wish I could maybe find some of these locally again because for the money, um, I don't think they were that expensive to buy in the first place, uh, to be perfectly honest. And like I said, they're not the highest end quality and premium die cast, but I think they're pretty cool. And like I said, I like I like unusual cars like this. Um, here's the other one that I've got, this little Ford Maverick. And this one is a, this is, no, it's not, it's a screwed base. So some were screwed, some were riveted. And again, lens lights on the front. But uh, anyway, that is today's video. Please like, share, subscribe, stay tuned for more unboxing videos, vintage Matchbox Mondays episodes, and all that type of stuff to come. And with that, I'll see you all very soon. Thank you for watching.